got the uh, Matt has the new uh, CMAC, which is a video laryngoscope device, and it is a CMOS, and which is different than a fiber optic. So, Matt, I'll let you go ahead and talk about how we use this. We turn it on, what the things are, and how to clean it. Okay. How's Sounds that? Good. Uh, with the CMAC, if you look on the back, uh, you have two connectors. They're color coded. The yellow is where the video module goes. This is what plugs into the laryngoscope handle. And then you have a blue connection, which is for the charger. And I would recommend keeping it plugged in, uh, charging. And when you want to use it, you turn it on, unplug it, and then it will be ready to go. So the, the video module should already be plugged in with the blade on it. And how the video module is loaded onto the blade is you want the buttons on the outside and you slide it into the blade so it clicks in and then you're ready to go. The on off button is right here with the red so you just turn it on, it'll come on, the light will turn on. Uh, you want it to let it heat up for about 15 seconds, there's a heating element in the blade to prevent fogging. So you turn it on and you can run to where you need to intubate. Um, on the video module you have two buttons, one to take a picture and one to record video. It stores it on an SD card on the top of the unit. Uh, so then once you're ready to use it, you just use it like a standard laryngoscope with the added benefit of uh, video assistance. One of the good features, the main features of this system is you can always see the tip of the blade so you know where you are inside the anatomy. So when you're ready to use it, you just Put it inside the patient's mouth, make sure you don't hit the teeth, and look at the screen, and you'll see the vocal cords pop up right there. And you just take the ET tube and put it right down the middle, and you can view it going through the cords. And then you're done. And after you've used the blade, you will Disconnect the video module, take your thumb, pat, slide it out, and take the cleaning cap, and you want the red side to go inside the blade, and then wash it off and soak it inside X for 12 minutes. The whole handle. The whole handle. And then if the video module gets contaminated as well, it all fits into this one cleaning cap. You just plug this one right there, the yellow connector in the bottom and you can soak the whole system in Cydex. The whole thing. Okay. And the story on the uh, white balance again you said normally uh, it's okay? Yeah, you don't have to white balance this every time. Every once in a while, uh, maybe every six months or so if you start seeing a green tint, you will hit the wrench which will bring you to the um, menu. And this is saturation, this is contrast, this is to flip the page to the next one and this is to go back to the main menu. So you'll flip it two times and then this is the white balance right here. So if it, the color looks like it needs to be readjusted, you just take the, uh, the blade and hit the button once and it will white balance it and it will recalibrate the color. And you don't need to do that every time. Yeah. That's just if you Good. notice that the image is getting kind of a tint to it. Okay, so we're